Hello, Dr. Kirschenbaum. We're going to be discussing how to enroll a specific patient in an IRB study. Prior to you getting to the computer, all the study IDs have been entered with blank records. So, for example, if we look at P3100, that is a unique study ID, okay, and that could be opened up as a record, which I will show you. You have a list of all the study IDs on either electronic or a piece of paper. So let's assume a patient comes in and the patient's name would be stick test. Okay, that's the patient's name. You've decided stick test is going to be study ID 3010 because that's what you're assigning them. 3010 already exists in the unit without a patient name. You will go into the search button up in the top right corner, type in 3010, hit return you will see 3010 comes up, you hit the arrow button here, and up comes the blank record. But the study ID is something that, that you will not be able to change. You will put the patient's name in there, stick test. It'll be Bob stick test. Date of birth, you will enter. All right, and I will just enter a date of birth here for fun, okay. There may or may not be an institutional ID. The surgeon would be Jeff Stickney. The date of surgery would be September 6th, September 5th. All right, MIS, laterality, swift path method, navigation. On the bottom row of the subforms from the patient that we'll be tracking, you'll hit save cha changes. Now, Bob Stick Test has been assigned study ID 3010.